you go. Here's the trade of the month, the week. Here's the setup I've been waiting for. It came in under the 10,000 range, and I started buying it at 9,800. I've got orders at 9,400 and 8,900, and also 8,400. So all the way down from the, the 172.8 to the 200%, I've got orders let resting all along here. And um, from there, I might even buy it at 8K if they're able to push it as low as that, but I don't think they will. Uh, we'll see. Um, and I think it's a good buy under uh, the 10,000 area, mainly because of the fact that it's uh, the volume is thinning, and I've been watching these guys for a long time. They're, they're in a lot of shorts, so when they cover, they're going to send it all the way back above uh, uh, 12,000 easily. Uh, probably to the upper 12,000 range, and ultimately all the way back up to close to 16,000. So on a percentage return, this winds up being a good trade, and uh, we'll see how it turns out. Uh, but I'm looking for a nice bounce, and probably all the way back up to here, up to the 16,000, uh, 15,800. Now, if you look, let me go back here. Uh, we had a little bounce right off of here. I don't think it's going to last too long, and I think it's going to hit levels all the way down to my next order, which is around 9,400, and then 8,900, and ultimately all the way down to that 8,400. And uh, we'll see if they can get it down there. Uh, it would be nice if they took it right here, or even down to the, uh, you know, um, under 8,000 range. Uh, you know, these guys are heavily short and they want to go over and try to get the best price for their position. So, uh, are they going to have a chance to exit? Hmm. Uh, we're, we'll see, but this is what my trade is. I've been waiting for this one. I've not talked about it, uh, and waiting for it to set up. And here you go. Other than that, I will update you guys later in the week and we'll see where we go with this one. Alrighty. Talk to you later.